folks, uh, thank you, thanks for watching. This is the November 19th live edition of the Wednesday Night War. Yeah! Yay. All right, folks, I'm your host, Jose Casabona, and joining me behind the camera, of course, is the man hailing from the mean streets of Jackson Heights, New York, the man behind our our excellent quality production on the Ravens Flock channel and all our content, Mr. Juan Arouse. Hey, everybody, I'm... Dying inside yes. and outside, yes, but he, mostly inside. Yes, he is, and he's going to need all the support and help we can get and all the love and everything. But right now, this is not a time to die. This is a time to talk about all things wrestling for this uh, week's November 18th edition of WWE NXT and AEW Dynamite. However, before I touch on any of the fun stuff, I do need to, I do need to address something rather more serious. Um, no more than a couple of hours ago, um, there have been some tweets been released by a by an individual named Louis Benson. Louis Benson was involved with the production staff for All Elite Wrestling. Um, his testimony consists of 12 screenshots of his um, experience, the, the circumstances of his departure and his uh, and his time working with the stamp, beginning from September 2019 during the, the production of All In and the Star and their uh, Wrestle Starcast in Chicago to present. Day. Um, if you are currently watching from our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the Ravens Flock, the link to his Twitter profile will be provided below the video. Click on the uh, click on his Twitter, look up his testimony, and uh, read through it carefully uh, from bell to bell, and make the judgment for yourself. Make the opinions for yourself. I'm not going to detail all of this, all of the circumstances specifically. But I will sum it up with this. Between his time working from 2019 to now, he has been verily, he has been treated unfairly by the AEW staff. He has made several references to a boss within the AEW staff who has been incredibly harsh to him, who has been very demanding of him. He has told him that Cody, that the executive vice president, uh, Cody Rhodes, did not like him, that he distested him, which was not the case. Because on, uh, on the screenshots, he's had nothing but positive experiences in his face-to-face -face interactions with Cody. Nevertheless, uh, all the screenshots have been uh, circumstances with the harsh treatment and, um, and, and uh, yeah, with the harsh treatment from the AEW staff. He hasn't sp dropped any specific names. He just made references to a boss that he answers to uh, uh, while part of the production crew. He was involved with the production for AEW Dark, a, the AEW Control Center. He's also been involved with the production of other videos while working for All Elite Wrestling. And during the, and, uh, during the beginning of COVID-19, when the whole pandemic spread throughout the entire United States, um, he's also had some disagreements with the AEW staff in terms of working from home and in terms of quarantining for his own safety. Now, of course, this is all coming from him. This is all one-sided. And we all know this. Every story always has two sides. To the, to the Two sides of everything. This is, of course, coming from his narrative. Not to say that his story uh, uh, doesn't have any merit. I mean, and it, and it sucks. It, in my opinion, you know, it does, it, this does cast a shadow over the, over, the harsh, uh, over the harsh treatment of the AEW staff behind the scenes. But at the same time, as I as I said earlier, there ha there has to be another side of the story, and and, and AEW has yet to address the uh, testimonies from Louis Benson. Juan, your thoughts. All right, my thoughts on this very simple. Uh, it sounds to me like uh like a uh, like a uh, a textbook case of a middle management person who is too self important for their own good, who decide that they're going to make someone else who basically does video editing grunt work, uh, make them feel bad about their position in the company in order to make themselves feel good, in order to make themselves feel more important. This sounds like it's a really rough deal, and I would n I am not surprised that the situation ended the way it has. Um, but like uh, you mentioned, as of this live broadcast on Instagram here, and of course the publication of the YouTube version of this video, there has not yet been a statement issued by All Elite Wrestling regarding the comments made by uh, what was it? Louis, Louis Benson. Benson. Louis Benson. Yes. There we go. But yeah, um, 
my figuring here is there has to be more to this and whoever this uh, uh, mystery middle management boss that was basically making Louis Benson's life a living hell just for being at All Elite Wrestling it has a lot to answer for. And if Cody Rhodes is the upstanding ma like manager that we he has cultivated the image of, that we all believe him to be, then you better believe that he's going to address the situation in the very near future and that he'll address it to uh, a satisfactory uh, conclusion. Absolutely. I completely agree with you. Um, this will obviously hit all the WrestleMania news outlets if it hasn't already. Wrestle Inc., Wrestle Zone, Wrestle Talk, uh, WrestleMania. Uh, but we were the first ones to catch wind of this. But yes, nevertheless, uh, we have yet to hear a statement from AEW. Um, that doesn't mean that they're not going to say anything about it. We will expect a statement from either to the CEO, Tony Khan, or from Cody Rhodes himself addressing the matter. Because, you know, when it comes to these type of situations, you know, AEW is not one to stay quiet about it. So, with that being said, that's all I'm going to, that's all I'm going to discuss about it right now. Again, if you're watching... From the YouTube, our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the Ravens Flock. The testimony will be available. The link will be available below the video. Click on it, read it in verbatim, and make the judgment for yourself. Now, with that being said, let's get on to uh, talking more about the fun times of wrestling.